Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GarageFuse.com and today we are here at the Lenovo event and Lenovo has actually launched the Lenovo Yoga Tablet 2. Yoga Tablet 2 now comes in these two configurations which are right now available. Previously when the Yoga, Yoga Tablet, the earlier generation of Yoga Tablet actually came, that was the 8 inch one which actually came and the 10 inch one never came. So we have both of them now coming to the market. They will be available through Flipkart as of now. Uh, again tonight by midnight on, 15, on 16th. Uh, by midnight basically you will see these devices and uh, you can buy them from Flipkart. In terms of the price they are fairly high. This one will cost you approximately 20,000 rupees and this will cost you approximately 23 to 25,000 rupees. That is the kind of a pricing which they have set. Again they are fairly costly tablet as compared to the affordable tablets which we have in the market but they give you a lot of features, a lot of uh, new form factor new user case scenarios in which you can actually use it which is a very good thing and that is the kind of a thing which you can expect from a yoga tablet which comes from intel not, not from intel sorry it comes from lenovo so this yoga tablet which comes from lenovo again has followed the same design which you have seen on the previous yoga tablet the yoga tablet to have the same design as well but they have done certain changes in the hinge this part over here which is the stand uh, was used to go till this point only previously on the yoga tablet but now it can be rotated up to 180 degree so 180 degree rotation actually gives you a different user case scenario in which especially in case you are a cook or if you are doing something and you want to see something on the tablet and you can't hold it in your hand then you can actually hang it now so with this particular hole which they have provided on the stand uh, which is a metal part over there which again is very solid aluminum it is it is light enough to not impose any weight of the tablet but it has a hole over there with which you can actually hang it on a wall and you can see the content which is happening or which is basically going going across on the display on this yoga tablet to 10 inch model so talking about the configuration we have intel atom processor on this device that is z345 with 2 mb cache and it has 1.8 gigahertz of cpu clocked and you have four cores that is a quad core processor so you have 1.8 gigahertz quad core processor on this particular tablet we have 2 gb of ram and 32 gb of inbuilt storage so 32 gb of inbuilt storage should be good for a tablet like this it should be good for installing more application and what you can do we will tell you how much of that is going to be available to the user one thing which i really like about this tablet is the overall form factor and the kind of angles you can have it especially when you put it on the stand you can have it on different angles from different extreme uh, slanting angles basically you can tilt it you can have it like this and still you can actually see what is happening on the display which is good so this is how you can actually use this tablet this the kind of uh, wing angles it can give you especially if you are watching a video you are sitting on your uh, uh, chair or on your table if you have it you can actually ha have it uh, have it in any angle and this will give you great uh, usage when it comes to the overall experience while watching a video or while watching anything else on this particular tablet so entertainment wise this is one of the best machine you can go for you can always go for this one as well but this one is more for portable people so in case you would like to have a tablet which is light enough in terms of the weight the display size will go for a uh, basically go for a toss but it will give you lightweight so this will be lightweight this one is heavy but as compared to the other 10 inch tablet which we have in the market this is fairly near to the weight which we have on the 10 inch tablet it has followed the same design which we have seen previously as well let's talk about the connectivity first of all so in terms of connectivity we have 3.5 mm audio jack over there we have primary microphone on this device we have two loudspeaker on this device which are fairly loud we have just tested them we have micro support for data syncing and charging we have this volume uh, rocker button which is a metallic button gives you good amount of feedback at the back side once you open the stand you can see that it supports dolby surround sound and you have uh, uh, slots over here for the micro memory card so you do have micro memory card slot on this device to expand the storage however the sim card slot is missing so 3g voice calling in case you need is going to be supported on the 8 inch model the android one and the 3g voice calling is not going to be supported on the 10 inch model again this one is heavier so they have not provided that feature on this one especially as far as 3g voice calling is concerned in case you are looking for that we have 8 megapixel camera at the back which is an autofocus camera it can record high definition video we have the power button over there which is also looking very good i think it comes with the led over there this is a led circle which we have so it will give you notification in case there is anything on the tablet which you need to take care of as far as back side is concerned the back side is again plastic but it has a kind of a metal finishing to it this part is actually metal but this part is plastic with metallic finishing which again is looking good and very looking very nice as per the design and the overall look and feel of the tablet is concerned on the front we have seen the glass 
so this class over here is again uh, good enough in terms of the viewing angle so it is an IPS LCD display which will give you great viewing angles but when it comes to smudges you can see them on this display as you can see it is again fingerprint catchy so it will attract a lot of fingerprints and it is quite reflective as well talking about the overall configuration I can say that this is a pretty good hardware configuration which we have on this tablet uh, which will make sure that you can actually play different HD videos without any issues although when it comes to gaming gaming when it comes to HD gaming I seriously doubt that how it can actually handle the HD gaming and how good it is so we will basically give you an overview of that once we do the full review of this tablet later on let's talk about the overall software features and before I do that one thing I can say that the device has a very good build quality it has very good viewing angles and again you have different kind of usage scenarios you can actually slant it like this in case you are typing on this tablet so this stand can be tilted so it will give you this kind of thing you can actually have it like this in case you are watching a movie and you can always have it like this in case you would like to hang it on a wall which is possible now with the yoga tablet too taking a look over the configuration the hard uh, the software configuration let me just show you the version of Android and what we have on this device as far as software is concerned so it is a custom version of Android which is running on top of Android uh, a custom UI basically which is running on top of Android and we have the settings over there let me just go back and show you the setting information on this tablet uh, over here so on the settings front we have Android 4.4.2 that is KitKat running on this device you do have support for software update on this device you can update the version of Android without connecting it to a PC you can do it over there you do have power manager as well which will save GPU and screen power so that you can have more battery backup on this particular device we do have GPS navigation also supported so you can use this device for GPS navigation as well let's take a look over the application scenario we have 2 GB of RAM on this device and the device should give you a very good performance with this 2 GB of RAM approximately 1.1 GB is free as of now which is fairly good and the device is responsive enough I did not face any lag on this device as far as UI is concerned the UI is custom UI but again it does give you a very responsive UI it is not laggy at all we have all these applications which will come pre-installed let's take a look over the settings again and show you what other things which we have as far as storage is concerned let me just show you the storage information on the storage front we have 16 GB model of the 10 inch one as of now although this one this will come with 32 GB model as well so on the 16 GB model you have approximately 10.72 GB available to the user and on the 13 GB model you will get approximately 23 GB available to the user so one thing I would like to tell you because this device does not have a sim card slot so again it does not have any support for tethering so you cannot create a Wi-Fi hotspot on this device to share the 3G internet because again it does not have the sim card slot for 3G when it comes to other things let me just show you the display scenario so on the display front we have support for automatic brightness as well on this device let me just show you the same so we do have support for automatic brightness which is good and wallpapers when when it comes to wallpapers you have support for different kind of role live wallpapers static wallpapers and you can do a lot of other things as well in case you would like to do that so these are the things which you have on this device you do have a Lenovo smart switch which allows you to go to the uh, go to the manual and auto I'm not sure what it is but we will confirm that later we do have multi window also supported on this device which is a good thing so multi window is supported and you have all other things which should be there on a tablet like this you have wireless printing supported as well wireless display is also supported which is good let me just show you the camera UI now uh, let me just show you the camera performance of this device for that I need to launch the camera and I will take a photo of my LG G2 over there and let me just place the device over there and again we do not have much amount of light falling on my phone as of now and we will see how is the overall performance of this device as far as the low light camera quality is concerned so we have increased the brightness to full so that you can see the phone properly okay okay the camera is over there yeah let me just take a photo right now Again, it has tap to focus and autofocus is also supported. Both of these things are there. This is the kind of camera quality you can actually get from this device, especially in low light. I would say the color production is again not that great, but it is quite natural, not bad as well. And the camera clarity is also decent. It is not bad at all. So the rear camera can do high definition videos. It can record high definition videos. It can record high definition videos 720p as well as at 1080p. Talking about the front camera, let me just show you the front camera as well. So let's toggle to the front camera over here 
so this is how the front camera will look like again you can do a pretty pretty decent quality of video chat again the front camera is 1.6 megapixel front camera which is a fixed focus camera and you cannot do a high definition video recording from the front camera this is the kind of quality you will get basically uh, and it does have face detection as well as you can see it it can detect your face and these are the things which you can do with the camera so in all i can say that this device is a pretty good tablet especially in case you are looking for a premium tablet uh, this is one of the best design you can have on a tablet which gives you different kind of user cases as per which you would like to use it so that's all from us as far as the quick hands on review of the yoga tablet 2 10 inch model which is running on android however you have the same hardware configuration the same design everything same as a windows machine as well you can also have it as a windows tablet which we will just show you so that's all from us thanks for watching this video in case you have any question for this device you can leave your questions in the comment section below you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you